Hello, I'm Alan Odenehu, techno teacher on Twitter, and I'm going to show you really, really quickly how you can build a racing car game in Scratch. Now, I don't know if you've used Scratch before, I want to assume that you haven't. So, first thing I want to show you in Scratch is the screen. Look at the screen. So, over here on the left hand side, we've got all the menu things. We can choose different things that we're going to make Scratch do. We have this is the bit where we say, this is what we want you to do, and then this is the space that we want you to do it in. Now, at the moment, we've got the cat in here. Cat hasn't really got a name. We just call him the Scratch Cat. This time, I don't really have anything against cats. I'm just going to get rid of him because I'm going to make a racing car game. And having a cat in a racing car game, it's going to get a bit messy. So, first thing I'm going to do is just over here, there's a little paintbrush with a star. I'm going to start painting the car I'm going to use for the game. So, I'm going to do a racing car. I'm going to do it from above. And it's going to be a red racing car. So, I'm going to draw a rectangle. Nice long rectangle. Uh, tires. So I'm going to look at the tires here. I'm going to give it some rectangles. So here is a big fat tire at the back. Yeah, another big fat black tire. So there's two front uh, two back tires. Now I'm going to do two front ones. I'm going to put one there, one there. And you're thinking that doesn't look much like a racing car. So what the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a spoiler, big rear spoiler, red spoiler. So put that around about there. Uh, I'm going to put that little front spoiler, something like that. Still doesn't look great. Oh, it needs a driver. So let's see. I'm going to. The driver is going to be wearing a big white helmet. So there's our driver in the car. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little badge on the front of the car. And I'm going to use the paintbrush with some black. And I'm going to put the lucky number seven. So I'll put that on the front. So that's my racing car. So now I'm going to click on OK. So there's our racing car. Now at the moment, I can use my mouse and I can drag the racing car around, but it's not really doing anything other than when I move it. So I'm going to give it a script. So I want to control the racing car. So I'll go up here to the control menu. And in the control menu, I'm going to have it. So when I click on the green flag, it's going to move the car forward. So I go to motion. And we have one here that says move 10 steps. So now when I click on the green flag, watch what happens. You're thinking, that wasn't very much. Click on the green flag again. Yeah, it doesn't move very fast. This is a racing car. So what I'm going to do now, off the control menu, I'm going to choose something that says forever. Forever move forward 10 steps. So I'll click on the green flag. Oh, see? Racing car. Let me just drag it back again in case you missed that. Whee! See, got the racing car working. Now, the only problem is, this racing car, what it keeps doing is it keeps going off the screen. We need to find a way. I just pressed stop then. We need to find a way of controlling it on the screen. I'm going to use the arrow keys to control it. So I have to tell it to look out for the arrow keys. So I have one here that says, when brace key pressed. So I'm going to change that to... Right arrow. So when I click on the right arrow, I'm going to go to motion and I'm going to tell it to turn 15 degrees clockwise. So let me press my right arrow key. Whee! So I can spin the car right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Well, not exactly. I'm going to tell it to go when the left arrow is pressed, go to motion and turn 15 degrees anti clockwise. So now let's see. So now I press on the green flag with my mouse, and vroom, so I can I can turn it around. Now, you're probably thinking, that car is too big for the screen. That's what I'm thinking. So I need to shrink it down using the shrink tool. I can click shrink, shrink, or press the shift tool on the keyboard. And that's a lot better. So now let me run the game. Whoa, look at that. that, that that's quite exciting. You'll, you'll find when you do this, it's quite... Oh, look, he's doing donuts. Now... To make, do you know what? I think I'm going to make it just a little bit easier. I'm not that good at playing games, so I'm going to slow it down. Instead of moving 10 steps mm -hmm. forward, it's just going to move 10 steps, two steps. So now let's see. See, that's it. You can go on a Sunday drive. You could even put a caravan in the back of that if you want to go really, really slow. So, um, so, still a bit boring. We're driving around on a lot of snow. So I'm going to add something else in. I'm going to go to the stage. Um, where it says backgrounds, I'm going to draw a track for the car to go on. So I'm going to go to edit, and I'm going to use the bucket to fill 
all of the background in green. So it's all filled in green. We need a track. So I'm going to choose a paintbrush and I'm going to go for the biggest paintbrush there is and I'm going to choose white and see. Nice long straight, a little bit of a wobbly bit there, then a curve and another curve and then back to the beginning. So there's our racing track. So now what I'm going to do, click on the green flag and we're on the racing track. Whee! Ooh, look at this. See? Hours of fun. Now, of course, you're probably thinking the next thing is you could add loads of things into this. You could have another car, so you have a two player game. You could add in little bits of scripts so that if it touches the grass, what it's going to do is it's going to bounce back or it's going to lose points. You could put little bonus things on the track. Like, ooh, you could have oil, and when it goes over the oil, the, the car spins around. So, uh, so there we go. A racing car in oh, about five minutes. If you want to find out more stuff like this, I've got loads of stuff on my YouTube channel and I've got a, a WordPress blog called teachcomputing.wordpress.com.